Welcome to the NBS Reviews and Discussion Podcast. I am your host, Roman Sanzo, and joining me today is Silver Quill. Sugar overdose is known to result in Pinkie Pie. Please sugar responsibly. You don't want to turn into Pinkie Pie, or do you? Oh, mm. so sugar. So if I induce sugar, I'm going to be like Pinkie Pie. Quite possibly. Or diabetic. I mean, unfortunately, that's another possibility. <laughs> yep. God. <sighs> but anywho... In this episode review, we are going to review the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic comic issue number 86. In this issue, Pinkie Pie and Mod Pie help their sister Marble make friends by helping her throw a party. Yay! So before we get into it, first impressions are in order. And Silver, what do you think? Well, it's kind of weird. This is a this is a story that celebrates Pinky, even though Pinky doesn't get to do much. It's really uh, Maud's time to shine, as part of the family, and so it's. I, I'd say the attraction is more seeing Maud's actions, but the honor goes to Pinky. Yeah, f- felt that way too. Like the story was what. Um based on Pinky and Mott was just there to kind of help it run along but it was still fun like it, it had the spirit of the Pinkies oh the spirit of the Pinkies wait the mirror pool no there's, there's a no no oh, but you said Pinkies plural oh god no <laughs> well there's one of them out there there's one of them out there there's also the uh, Equestria Girls Pinky which apparently plays a little Universe swap with a pinky we know. Oh, God. It's all madness, I tell you. Madness. True, 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 true. Don't go down the rabbit hole. Oh, no, I never question uh, pinky. You did it again! <laughs> oh, boys. But anywho, uh, if you guys have not read this comic yet, pause here and go do so. Welcome back. So, we start off the comic with pinky baking a huge cake or at least a tall cake Mod is there I think just hanging out with Pinky and yeah this cake is just ridiculously tall Pinky almost fell but managed to save herself with her prehensile tail and Marble's there yay Pinky gives Marble a hug and asks like what's up what's up what's up and Marble just says I have a party and I here's the RSVP for the guest list and it's about 200 ponies long. Like, what? <laughs> oh no. Somebody help me. Somebody save me. Oh no. Superman's gonna help. Yes, no? Well, that'd be one way to get a party going. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, but still, uh, Pinky says, yo, I, I could help you. I could help you. That's no problem. I, I, I finished my work and uh, famous last words. The cake falls on Pinky and she has to start all over again from scratch. Pinky says, no problem. I can always ask Mod to help. And Mod just says, Pinky, I'm not sure I'm the right pony for the job because I got no idea about party. And Pinky just says, you made a birthday party for me. That was fun. And we go to a flashback where said party was just Pinky Pie and Rocks. And those were Mod's friends. Oh no, this is going to be a disaster. And Marble can feel it in her bones. Uh, Pinky just says, no problem. Here's a list of what to do for the party. And I'm sure you'll do well. And I'm going to pause here. Silver, what do you think? Well, Marble is talking. That's That alone is, wait, what? <laughs> I mean, we're used to her going, mm-hmm. It's comic, so it's not canon. <laughs> oh, see how you feel that way in season 10? <laughs> <laughs> Season 10 is going to be another hit scratcher. Oh, man, I haven't even read one. Oh, boys. But still, um, what else? Just that well, I'm glad Marble is actually uh, reaching out and making friends. It will help alleviate whatever everyone who was feeling bad about Marble uh, basically getting dumped at Hearthswarming. Oh, God. Even though she and Big Mac were never truly an item. Heavily hinted, but not, you know, not uh, official. Yep, true. And also, that one scene where Marble is just crying after looking at, uh, what, um, who's Big Mac's girlfriend? Now wife, Sugar Bell. Yeah, Sugar Bell. Like, like oh, that, that's just sad. Like, oh, God. 
But then she giggles in it. So, you know, we're, there's balance. Yeah. These are okay. We're, yeah. we're okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You're okay. True, true. <sighs> so, ooh, anything else to add when, like, uh, Maud helping? How? Maud helping. Well, I mean, she's big saying, I'm not the one who makes the parties. And true, Pinky's enthusiasm works a long way for her. She can get through a lot of things based just on how excited she is. But we need a little bit more time to see how this unfolds. True. And yeah, for, for me, this was interesting. Uh, hear, not really hearing, but uh, looking at uh, Marble talk for a long time. It's, yeah, interesting. So anyway, I'm going to carry on. We go on to the Exposition Express where Marble says, um, I, I don't really have much confidence in you, sis. Sorry, no offense, but you're not the priority animal like Pinky is. And Mod just says, I understand, non taken. And Pinky gives us a list. And here's the list. When they look at it, it's full of stains where it's not perfect and they need to kind of translate it or kind of really analyze it with a fine tooth comb but Mod says uh, you know what I, I can do this I can do this like no problem like I, I'll try my best and this and the next scene is very interesting where we have a parallel about uh, between Pinky and Mod where they try to well do the work uh, Pinky is going to bake the cake and get to the party as soon as possible, while Mod is just trying to decipher the uh, message that Pinky sent in and try to do the best party for uh, Marble. Uh, this one, I'm just going to fast forward because it's what you might call this kind of a montage. You need a montage. Montage, everybody needs a montage. Yeah. So, anywho, in the next day, we are at the rock farm where Maud kind of decipher most of it and she's going to go to the store to, well, find the items uh, while Pinky on her end finished baking the cake for uh, Cranky and Matilda and once who named Mrs. Cake saw the cake and sees the note, she wonders to herself, how am I supposed to get this cake out of the door? Like, door's only, what, three feet? Four feet, probably? Cake's like ten? Not gonna work. Raise the roof. <laughs> like, literally. Uh, or, or, or ask Twilight to shrink the cake and then you begin it. There's the true use of the element of magic's power. Yeah, moving cakes. <laughs> so, uh, in... Well, I'm not sure where Pinky lives, but in her neck of the woods... We see Marble and uh, Maud go to the party store and try to get this party down or buy stuff for the party. Well, Maud is kind of wibbly wobbly because she has lack of sleep. That's not good. And in Pinky's case, she's in the Friendship Express trying to hit the to well her town until. It's delayed because there's a huge rock in between. What? How? Who? That's not great. So Maud and Marble got the news and Marble's already panicking because she doesn't have confidence in Maud for the party. So Maud feeling a bit, well, what you call this? Feeling a bit guilty and feeling a bit uh, sad for Marble. Thinks of a way to help. And she noticed a lot of sugar tubes and decides to rip at it and consume some sugar. And now Maud sees the whole logic in what Pinky has done. Now she too has the Pinky view of life and stuff. And she too has now built the party and stuff. So in the end, uh, the party was a success. There's a lot of pony there. And... Oh, Bo- wholesome Boulder, was it? What was the boulder's name? Which bo- boulder? The big... The giant boulder? Yeah, that one. Oh, is that what blocked... The, you mean what blocked the uh, 
Train? I don't know. No, no. The the, the the one where limestone pie will break your neck if you touch it. Oh, Holder's Boulder. Yeah, Holder's Boulder. He seems to be in the party mood because he is also decorated. Yay. Well, as long as you stay off it, you can still decorate it. Yeah. But anywho, it seems that the party is a success, even if Pinky didn't decorate and host it. And Mott is thankful for the, what you call this, party and how it is a resuming success. And I have so many questions on why is Ma and Pa Pai okay with this? Just because they're stoic doesn't mean that they're uncaring. True, true. And you know what? It's good on them. It's good on them. And also, uh, we, we get to see uh, Marble having a lot of fun. And I always forget that Marble is the baby in the family. Even though she's Pinky's twin. Really? <laughs> yeah. P- Pinky was born just a few minutes early, so she still thinks of Marble as her little sister. Oh, wait. They're twins? Oh, God. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I forgot. Totally forgot about that one. So, yay. Um... Party is a success, and Pinkie Pie managed to arrive at the party and notice the decorations. It's not up to her standard, but still, it looks beautiful and looks great. And with that, Pinkie is happy for the success, and they too uh, lay down and take a nap. And with that, comic ends. Yay! Silver, final thoughts, and what do you think? Well, let's see. Maud is taking advice from Boulder, which includes uh, going with the pure sugar candy. So it's like, what's that? What's that, Boulder? I should consume the sugar, then kill them all. God. Oh, but who would clean up the mess, Boulder? <laughs> oh, good point. If they're all dead, there'll be no one to complain about the mess. <laughs> so yeah, that could go south rather quickly. <laughs> yep, totally. So here's the thing. Pinky is getting to be a bit silly as she can outrun a roadrunner. Going all beep beep on him. (laughs) But she's not involved in fixing this. It's for, it's Maude who takes center stage. And yet she does this by asking what would Pinky do? In a weird way, this is kind of a, a job swap like what Celestia and Luna did in A Royal Problem. You have them ask, what would my sister do? And, she, and Ahmad realizes Pinky would go outside her comfort zone to make as great a party as she could tailored to Marble. So in this way, by witnessing Maud try to do Pinky's role, we gain a better appreciation of what Pinky does every day. And we get to see Marble be herself. And so the fact that she can integrate crystals and uh, geology into, into the party to create some really beautiful decorations, that's pretty awesome as well. I will say, this comic also features very heavy waterworks. I mean, Pinky cries, Maud, uh, Marble cries. Maud doesn't cry, but you get to see her sleep deprived. Oh, yeah. But a very liquid-based, uh, liquid and stone-based uh, comic. But also very short. You know, we, we, we blaze through the summary very quickly. Yeah, and that's me Not- controlling the flow. But it's, what, 23 pages long? So... Or 22? Yeah. So that's pretty normal, by the way. And we never did learn how Mrs. Cake got that cake out. Honestly thinking, I, I think they could have thrown the party at the at her place. And they may very well have. Is that all silver? Yeah, I think that's the long and the short of it. All right. And as for me, uh, I... Uh, how do I put this? I am not a huge fan of Pinky, so this kind of fell off the bandwagon for me because... Not really a huge fan of Pinky, so kind of not really feeling it. But I, I do enjoy the story, and I, I really appreciate how Mod tries her best to make Marble happy because, well, she cares. And we get to see all of the shenanigans that goes in between, uh, from Pinky trying to get to her hometown, to Maud trying to make the party a success and realizing that she needs to think like Pinky and by that she means eat a bunch of candy and go hyper. Go hyper, go hyper. 
in the end it works so yeah we we do get to see what um what with puffy hair so that that's cool yes the truest compliment of it, uh, in nmlp the main change yeah <laughs> Uh, but in the end, uh, it was it was good. It was good. But anywho, so Silver, uh, you you have a big announcement to tell to well the fellow listeners. Yes, I do. It's with mixed feelings, including some sorrow. This is, I am going to need to step down from the MBS show. Things have been changing over the past year. As I start this new year, I find I have to reorganize my life. As such, I'm not able to do these podcasts as I used to. And so it's been fun. I've enjoyed it, and I intend to keep in touch with both Norman and Torterra. But I won't be a part of the MBS show podcasts. I want to thank you all for listening and sharing your thoughts and just listening to our general insanity. Yeah, and honestly, for me, man, like, when... You're going to make me cry. (laughs) Oh, come on. And Norman's been doubting himself a little bit. I have full confidence that he'll, one, find uh, an, someone to help contribute and keep the conversation going and to be silly in their own right. Just remember, when in doubt, whew! <laughs> uh, but, but in all honesty, um, when, we, when we first invited you on, it was way back when, what, in 2014? Yeah. Yeah, and... It was what after season four was it? I forgot. I think so. Yeah, we we were we 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 asked you on, asked you if you want to do review with us, and then like one thing led to another, and yeah, until now, like I for one am really thankful for you being here and joining us for this insanity, and I'm really sorry for putting you through. Whatever I did, oh, come on. It's not. This is not a guilt thing. This is life demands change oh, and evolution. It is true. It's true. It's true. But at the same time, too. I mean, the floor is always open for you to come back and have fun with us. Because, well, uh, like you mentioned before, things have not been stable for you in terms of scheduling and whatnot. And well, if it's stable and you feel like coming back, hey, there's always room. Well, I will keep that in mind. But in the meantime, I will just wish everyone well and a wonderful 2021. For you guys who are probably wondering, where's the Terra? <laughs> uh, Terra is in one of those scenarios where 2021 has not been kind to him. He is not feeling well. <laughs> Already. <laughs> I know. Oh, man. Still, um, I, I do hope that if you guys... Uh, came to the show for Silver. Uh, I I hope you guys stick around for us because uh, I hope you guys entertain you. That's, that's the thing. And if not, I totally understand. Don't jump ship just because one person is do, doing some other projects. You the nice thing about YouTube, unlike like regular television where you know two shows are at the same time, you have to choose. YouTube lets you do it whenever. True that. True. So you can watch, you can watch my pro- my projects. You can watch Norman's. Yeah, and I hope you guys stick around because, well, even if we don't get the third person sooner or later, we'll still be the funniest. It's just that we lack the intelligence of what we are saying, <laughs> boys. So, anywho, uh, with that, next week. Uh, not sure. Next week, we'll have to wait and see. What probably will be Pony Life and another comic, probably. Or maybe something else. Who knows? Hmm. Ah, Pony Life. <laughs> what brouhaha. Oh, yeah, true. Oh, God. I I still have to do it, man. Like, oh, God. Oh, I will do it in stride. I will survive. Mm-hmm. Oh, as long as I have Pony Life, I'll know and make it life. <laughs> But anywho, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Silver, where can the good people find you? Well, you can seek me out on both Twitter and DeviantArt under MLP Silver Quill. 
Or you could support my videos and comics through a Patreon and Kofi uh, under Silver Quill. And on the YouTube, which is where I, I want to be more active, uh, do a search for After the Fact or Silver Quill. Ye shall find me. And Wednesdays on Equestria Daily when there's a new comic, I'll be posting a review. Awesome, awesome. Go check him out, guys. Because, well, Silver does awesome work, especially in his Friday fulfillments. Those are always fun. <laughs> well, thanks very much. And, uh, well, yeah, I will look forward to seeing people there. Also, please subscribe to Radio on 19 YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also, Stitch Radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on punivlive.com. Links are in the show notes. If you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review a discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Uh, talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, myself, like, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So, anyway, I have been Roman Sanzo. I am the Silver Quill. And we'll, guys, <laughs> well, we'll, guys, catch you next week in another fun episode on MBS Show. See ya. Adios. Uh, you got anything, Silver? Just to say, Norman, you need to believe in yourself. Believe in the you who believes in you, who believes in me, believing in you, with the double believe and a cherry on top. Yeah. Extra mocha. Yeah, yeah. You're going to be fine. I hope so. But at the same time, too, I'm going to miss you, man. Like, this weekly meetup we do every, what, every two two weeks? I'm going mm-hmm. to miss it. I'm really going to miss it. It's, quote unquote, the highlight of my weekend. Oh, every two weekends. <laughs> well, it's not like I'm severing all contact with Oh, you. no, no, no. It's true. But it's one of those things where, yeah, like, every week we talk about ponies and whatever. Like, ah, that's going to be fun. Now it's eh, less of that, but still, still. It's like the show says. You, you put the work into keeping the, the friendship going. Yep, that is also true. Don't fear the future. Eh? Yep. And, well, who knows? Um... With change comes uh, evolution. Who knows, right? Exactly. A new format going that you really, really love. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, we will see. Like, for now, uh, it's uh, uncharted territory for us. But we'll make it work. I'm sure we do. Because, yeah, I, I don't know how to give up. <laughs> good. That's a good trait to have. Yeah, but anywho, uh, once again, Silver, thank you so much for being there with us and hanging around with a bunch of silly persons. <laughs> I, dude, I am the silly person. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very good. See you guys. Bye. Bye-bye.